Hi everyone! Welcome to Square Force, a channel where I design origami paper airplanes just like this, that look like airplanes in the real world, and fly really well too. You may have seen some designs similar to this, specifically this guy over here, the F-11D, on Foldable Flight's channel. So if you are joining me from his channel, welcome, glad to have you here. The F-11D was recently a grand prize winner in his annual paper airplane contest, so you may have seen that design over there. But there are many more designs that go with the F-11 line of aircraft, so I thought I'd show you the full range of designs here, and then you in the comments can suggest which ones you want to see next in terms of a full folding tutorial. So we'll start at the earliest here, the F-11A. You can see it's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer than some of the other ones here. It was inspired by the F-117 Nighthawk, and it is a little bit more streamlined than some of these other ones. Of course, being the first of the line, it actually flies a little bit more unpredictably, maybe a little less distance than some of these other designs, but it's still pretty capable all on its own. The next one here is the F-11B. You can see in comparison to the A, it got a little bit shorter, but it still has these little wing tips with these facets here, just like that F-117 that it came from in terms of its inspiration, but just a little shorter. Then I put another technique to use here on the F-11C. This one actually has three-dimensional wingtips. You can see they're kind of faceted and they are square little nacelles there on the end of the wingtips. That helps keep this one really stable, a really good flyer, um, and one of my favorite designs. The next one here, the F-11D, this is the one from Foldable Flights channel that you may have seen. This one swaps those nacelles for tail fins that are canted inward there. Reminds me a little bit of the SR-71 Blackbird. Really cool design. This is the best flyer of the bunch because unlike the C model, it doesn't have those nacelles on the tip generating drag. Now in the back here, these are some more experimental ones. This is the F-11E. This one you can see does not have those wingtip stabilizers at all. It's pretty much flat in the back with just a little bit of up elevator here on the corners. So this guy, uh, by a different series of folds, actually flies stable without the need for any of those vertical surfaces. Now the last one here, the F-11F, this one is kind of similar to the C model, but instead of squared off nacelles, they're all rounded with swooping curves. Now this one is definitely experimental. It takes a lot of trial and error and some skill to get the sort of three-dimensional aspect of these wings right, get those folds or those curves in exactly the right place. But I think it's a really neat design. It's one of my favorites that I'm still working to improve. And if you'd like to see a folding tutorial on that one, just let me know. So essentially, we have six different designs here, all based on the same general sequence of folds. It's up to you now to tell me which one you want to see next. Maybe you want to see the F-11D one more time. Maybe you want to learn where it all started with the F-11A. Try out these funky wingtip boxy nacelles here. Or maybe go for the extra swoopy design with the F-11F. All up to you. Just let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below, and I'll get a full folding tutorial for you. Thanks for visiting today. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Check out some of the other airplanes coming on this channel. And don't forget to give this video a like. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.